we're talking about how to use Facebook as a asset for your business. Mainly, how to reach out and connect with people that you know, be it local or be it out of town, and be able to share what it is that you have with business with them. So, and I think so oftentimes, you know, we, in network marketing, a lot of times we think, hey, we have to start locally and work with our local market, and that's awesome. I believe in that. I think that's wonderful. But sometimes you do have people that you know that are great, um, but they're not necessarily in your backyard. They might be across the country or across the state. So how do we connect up with those people and share the message of hope and freedom and all the goodness that you have to offer. So I am just curious. I would like to get your guys' feedback. Who right now is currently using Facebook to market their business? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. I have built my business both ways and what I know is that the more tools that you have in your tool belt, the more assets that you have, the more multifaceted that you can be as an individual, the better your business is gonna be. Just the more opportunities you will have to grow because you're gonna have different circumstances that you can use different things, different strokes for different folks. And what you're gonna find is some of the people that will join you, they're gonna really wanna know how to build on social media. And some people that are not so tech savvy or they prefer you know, talking or meeting with people and you know, face-to-face, uh, -face, that type of thing, they're gonna to wanna to know that as well. So the more you can round out who you are and your skills as a, as a professional and what we do, the better off we're gonna be. So let's go ahead and let's dive into things. If you have a notepad and you wanna take some notes, I have a lot of notes we're gonna go over. So um, we'll just go ahead and kick things off. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna obviously start by going through your contacts. If you open up your Facebook and you click on the friends, you're gonna see all of your friends right there. Now, it's easy to start clicking and just going, you know, reaching out to people, and I think that you should do that, but I also think you wanna, you know, kinda keep track of things, because what you're gonna find is this process is gonna be easy, and you're gonna be able to connect with a lot of people in a short period of time. So you don't wanna start getting your facts confused, or you don't wanna start, um, you know, not, not paying attention to all the details of what's going on. So what I would do is go ahead, open up a profile, for yourself and go to your friend section. Once you have your friend section, you're gonna see all the you know hundreds and hundreds of people that are there that are your friends. I would open up a separate tab on your computer or just get an old fashioned notebook just like I have, I'm a notebook kind of girl, um, and start writing down the people that you're gonna message. Now that's the first thing. The second thing is we want to go ahead and open up the conversation. Now, opening up the conversation, we're gonna talk about the do's and we are gonna talk about the don'ts because there's definitely a lot of don'ts. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, I did this yesterday and I was on the computer for maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes. And I think I went out and reached up to maybe about 20 people that I connected during that time period. So let's say 20, 30 minutes and connected up with about 18 different people. So what was that conversation like? What was it and what was it not? Okay, so here's how the conversation went. Most of the people that I was reaching out to were people that I had a lot of respect for. I knew that they would be a marquee player if you know what, what I showed them was something that they want, you know, had an interest in and wanted to find out more about. They were like my ideal candidate. I didn't start for the people that were, you know, people that I was gonna need to really help develop so much. I, I was looking for the people that were kind of already ready. They already had a lot of the skills. So leaders, okay? So that's who I was kind of looking for. Then what the heck did I say, right? So I just started off by saying, hey, hey, what's going on? It's been a long time since we talked, how you been? And just open up the conversation. A lot of times what I find is that there's people that they get started and they feel like they have to have like this huge paragraph that they write to people and I don't know about you, have you ever got a message from someone and you can tell they were prospecting you and it was like way long and you're like, dude, I haven't talked to you in like two years and you're trying to hit me up, like that's not cool. And then what happens is a lot of times you don't even wanna respond. You're like, okay, whatever, <laughs> right? So, you know, just start off by saying hello and your message should just be, you know, two, maybe three sentences at the most. Like, hey, I was scrolling through my news feed, so I saw your, saw your face pop up, so great to see you, how you been? Or you can look and you can see what's going on in their profile, and you can see, oh, they just took a trip, oh, they just um, did something fun, right? And so you, you comment on that, hey, it looks like you were just out at the racetrack, or hey, it looks like you were doing this, looks like you were doing that, um, how's it going, so great to see you? And just open up the conversation. Your entire goal when you do this 
is not to pounce on them right away with here's my link and let me tell you about my company. No, your entire goal is to open dialogue. Two things are gonna happen. You're gonna have some people that you don't really talk to, like it might have been one year, two years, five years. It might have been a little while since you've talked to this person. And so this is just gonna be a way for you to start opening that communication again. So it's more natural to have a conversation. Like five years ago, 10 years ago, we didn't really have Facebook as an asset that we could use. Now we do, because what's awesome is you can have people that literally you met one time, or maybe you never even met them. Somehow they ended up being your friends on Facebook. They're like, hey, how do we meet? <laughs> I mean, who knows, right? So, um, so it doesn't really matter, but it's such a great way because they can see you and they can see your entire profile which is awesome because it's kind of like your business card. It's like all about you without you having to say it, which is amazing. So you wanna just open up the conversation first and foremost. So we talked a little bit about what you should do and a little bit about what you should not do. So don'ts are, don't send a big long paragraph because that's like weird, right? Um, don't, you know, kind of spam them with your link or like, hey, how's it going? Would you look at my link? Eee, we don't wanna do that. You don't wanna get that kind of message. You'd be like, uh, dude, <laughs> What's up with that, right? How about say hi? Um, so we don't want to do that and we don't want to come right out the gates with business. Your entire goal is just to say hi and then the people, some people are going to say hi back and some people aren't. So it's important that you understand the numbers. Numbers are, numbers are the name of the game. I mean, like that's what we do, right? So here's your objective. You want to just throw some numbers up on the board and maybe you're gonna contact 10 people today, 20 people today, 30 people today, it doesn't really take that long. So if you blocked out 30 minutes on your calendar, you could probably connect up with 15 or 20 people in a 30 minute time period. And all you're doing is saying, hey. Now what you're gonna find is depending on the time of day and depending on what you have going on, some of the people are gonna respond right away and some people, it may be one or two days or maybe even two weeks before you hear back from them. It just depends how often they are on Facebook and how active they are. Some people have it open on their phone and some people don't. So is this making sense so far, guys? If, if this is resonating with you and you're kind of like, okay, yes, I could do this, Go ahead and put a three in the comment section. So I know that you believe that this is something simple that you can do because you absolutely can do it. So we talked to them, we open up the conversation, now we're ready to roll. So what does the conversation look like? So your entire goal is open up the conversation and you're like, hey, and if they say, hey, back, then you're gonna be like, hey, what's going on? How are you? How's the kids? How's the family? How's the job? Just reconnect. And then what you're gonna find is there's gonna be a natural spot where they're gonna start asking about you and you're just gonna kind of feel like, okay, it's okay to talk about what you do because you've already talked about what's going on with them, right? And so when you shift into that, you can bring up what you do. Now, how you wanna bring it up, it's up to you, okay? You might wanna lead with your product, you might wanna lead with your business. You gotta do what feels right for you. There's no one, sits, no one size fits all, okay? There's not a, a box and everyone has to fit in it. Whatever works for you, whatever you're passionate about, that's what I would start sharing it about. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can go. If you're really going and you're more comfortable on the phone, you could flip it off Facebook and jump on the phone and start talking to them about it. Or you could continue the conversation there. Now, I know a lot of people are going to continue it on Facebook, so let's talk about that. So when you get to the point where you're like, okay, they're ready, they're open, they're listening, they're, it sounds like it's the time to you know, send them some kind of video or something that they can watch. This is important, okay? Because this is where we lose a lot of people and we have a problem with follow-up. So here's what we're gonna do. When you're ready to send them a video, you're gonna say, hey, I have something that you can check out. It's, it can show you a little bit more about what we do. It's a couple minute video. Do you, you know, if I send it to you, will you watch it and give me your feedback? Okay, that little line, if I send it over to you, will you watch it and give me your feedback? write it down. <laughs> You're going to want to use that. Okay. Because what you don't want to do is send out links and expect to hear back from people. And then like, you feel like you're chasing them and it's just an ugly situation. I don't know if you've ever felt like you were in that scenario before, if you've ever kind of had one of those things where you're chasing and you're following up and you feel like you're pursuing and it just doesn't feel mutual. What we want to do is, Hey, I got a video. It will, you know, kind of go over all the details of what we're talking about. Um, you know, if I send you, send you the video, would you check it out and give me your feedback? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Here's where we go next with that. Perfect, are you out and about right now? Or it's about 10 minutes long, do you have a couple, you know, do you have about 10 minutes you wanna check it out now? 
you want to find out when they're going to watch this video. This is really, really crucial because what you want to do is, especially if this person's across the country, you're basically, your goal is to set up a follow-up time and you want to make sure that they've seen it and then you want to have a time that you're going to follow up with them. So if they're like, oh yeah, I'm right by my computer right now. Sure, send it. I'll watch it right now. You're like, okay, cool. It's about 10 minutes long. Check it out. Um, and, and then I'll, what, you know, I want to get your feedback. So let's talk right when you're done. So that's your goal. Okay. Now, if they're like, oh yeah, send it over and yeah, I'm, I'm on the freeway right now or I'm driving or I'm walking into a meeting, whatever. They can't watch it now. No worries. Awesome. What, what's your, you know, what's your schedule look like and when's the soonest you can check it out. You want to get a time that they're going to watch that video and you say, perfect. All right. Awesome. Hey, love to hear your feedback after you get a chance to watch it. Can we talk when you're done? Yes. Awesome. Great. What's the best number to reach you at? Perfect. They put their number. Perfect. Here's the video link. I'll touch base with you later on tonight after you watch it around 730. And so what you want to do is your goal is to try and go ahead and get a follow up time that you're going to get with them on the phone. Now you can get with them on Facebook. That's fine and dandy too. But for me, I think, you know, kind of talking to them on the phone is good because that way you can hear, you can hear a lot with the phone, right? You can hear the tone of voice. You can kind of see where they're at. Um, so that is awesome. So that's what I would do. Okay. Now, once you're going to do the, the, the follow up call, this is important. Okay. So we're going to talk about something we call expose, involve and upgrade, expose, involve and upgrade and expose is like, okay, you just showed them your video. You're going to get them involved. And now you want to upgrade them because obviously you want them to get started. So how are we going to keep them around what you have going on? A couple of different things. They're going to watch this video. Now what's going to happen after they watch this video is you could bring them on the phone with somebody that is in your upline support team and do a three way call. Okay. Um, or there's a variety of other things that you can do. So how's this going to sound? You're going to reach back to them and you say, Hey, seven o'clock reaching back out. Did you get a chance to check out the video? They're going to either say, yes, they watched it or no, they didn't. Now be prepared. Some people will say, Oh no, I didn't watch it. Oh, okay. No worries. Hey, listen, why don't you check it out right now? And then I'll call you back in a few minutes. And so like, you're going to kind of go back in circles and do the exact same thing again. And you're going to call them back after they watched it. So the first thing out of your mouth, Hey, what did you like about what you saw? That is what you want to find out. What did they like about what they saw? And you're looking for what they like. Did they like the product? Did they like the, you know, the money? Did they like the, the car program? What did they like about what they saw? And so at this point, your goal is obviously to help them come to a decision. Okay. So they may be coming to a decision to get started as a customer or as a business partner. Now, sometimes you're going to have a situation where somebody's not ready to get signed up right then and there. What do we do next? Couple different options we can go to. We can call in that, you know, the upline leader and say, you know, Hey, let's do a three way call. And what I would do if I were you is like, Hey, if you know, you have a call back at seven 30, I would reach out to one of your leaders and say, Hey, I got a call back at seven 30. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go, but would you be available for a three way call if I need you? And they say, yes. You're like, okay, awesome. Perfect. So you do your call back. Hey, what did you like most about what you saw? Then if it feels like, Oh, they like it, they're like digging this bring your leader on the phone and say, Hey, listen, you know what? I'm working with an awesome leader. You maybe share a tiny bit of their story, edify them really good and say, let me see if they have a couple of minutes. I'd love to have them jump on and say hi. So you're going to get your leader on the phone and they're going to do the three way call. And obviously our goal is to help your prospects see it a little bit bigger each and every time until they come to a yes decision. So three way call is one option. Another option is you may schedule them another time if they want to try the product or they want to, you know, they have anything that they need to research, whatever, they're not ready to sign up at that moment. Do your, your book a meeting from a meeting. Okay. Your bam fam. Okay. Book a meeting from a meeting. So say, Hey, listen, awesome. So glad you got a chance to see it. Hey, we're going to be doing a zoom call, um, tomorrow or the next day, whatever. Hey, how about you jump on? You can, you can see some of the people that are taking our products, see some of the people that are doing the business and you can kind of see, you know, what's going on right now. And so you always want to kind of book them to the next thing. Another thing that you can use is let's say you were being very strategic. Okay. And let's say you knew there was an event coming up in North Carolina or Arizona or wherever you like, maybe you, you have a strong leader that's going to be doing an event there. Maybe the corporate's going to be doing an event there or whatever the case may be, but there is an event taking place in a city and you know, somebody that lives in that city. You could be ultra strategic and target the people that you know in that city. And your follow up would be 
the event, okay? So after you do your video, after you do your call, if you need a follow-up, you can use the event. And obviously, oh, by the way, they can use the event to bring their own prospects to as well. So those are the major things that you wanna do from your follow-up, okay? Now, what's gonna happen from there is some people are gonna be signing, they're gonna be ready to roll. They're gonna sign up, they're gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna do this, what's next? And you're gonna start, you're gonna do again, your book a meeting from a meeting where you're gonna walk them through that follow-up process of, okay, how do we start this person and get them out of the gates quickly and get them making money. Um, the other thing that may happen is you may, you know, want to go ahead and send out some samples. If you have a product business like what we have, then sometimes people are gonna say, hey, everything looks awesome, I really like it, I really wanna try the product. Totally valid, right? I mean, I don't blame them. Hey, let me let me get you some product. Try that. This will get there in a couple of days. You know, give me give me a shout once you once you receive that. And so then you can go ahead and go from there. Now, a couple of things I would highly recommend. Number one, if you do this and you even just put in that 30 minutes a day, you are going to end up with a mound of contacts and a mound of activity and a mound of fire that starts building in your business. So. You don't want people to get lost in the shuffle, which they will if we're not paying attention. So what I would do is I would open up a spreadsheet or a Word document or something of that nature. Spreadsheets are good. Put the date that you reached out to them, put their name, put their, however you contacted them. Hey, send them a message on Facebook. They're gonna watch the video, follow up on this time. And then put in a column, hey, this is the time I'm supposed to follow up with them. And so you can always sort your spreadsheet according to that follow up date so that you know things are not gonna go by where you're gonna forget about it. Obviously, you might also want to go ahead and you know put it in your phone as well so that you get a pop-up reminder and it's gonna help you stay on top of things. So here is my challenge to you, my friend. If you really wanna grow your business, if you really wanna knock it out of the park, make a commitment to do this for yourself for the next 30 days, at least try for 30 days, okay? Take 30 minutes for the next 30 days, and I really don't care what time you do it, could be one in the morning, could be one in the afternoon, it doesn't matter. You could be doing this in your pajamas with your coffee when you're first waking up, it doesn't matter because everybody is on social media at all different hours of the clock, and so just do your thing. And people will respond whenever they respond, okay? But if you do this 30 minutes for 30 days, and you make a goal that you're not, you're gonna at least do 30 minutes or 20 contacts a day, what will happen 60 days from now. I mean, just like, where will your business be? Now, there's two parts of what we do. We have active prospecting, which is everything we've just been talking about, and then we have passive prospecting. What is passive prospecting and how does it work? This is the art of attraction marketing. This is where you learn how to use your Facebook posts to attract prospects to you. How are they attracted? They may be reaching out to you and sending you a private message. They may be commenting on a post. They may be liking your stuff. But basically, you're serving up something that is you know, appealing to them, and they're like, oh, what's going on there? Hey, I wanna hear more. And they're interested based on what you're putting out there. Now, this is something that, you know, it's first and foremost, it's gonna take some time just like anything else. But if you do it and you start, it's like a fisherman, right? If you're throwing a line in the water today and a line in the water tomorrow and a line in the water the next day and every single day you're out there throwing a line in the water before you know it, in a week or two weeks or three weeks, whatever, you got all these little lines, fish are nibbling on the lines and they're like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, can you tell me more? Hey, and you have all these people. Like you're gonna find what's crazy because I have friends that are just starting to do this. They're like, you know, been doing it for a couple of days. And they're like, oh my gosh, I have my friends who I've known for years and they're reaching out to me about what I'm doing. And you're gonna find that that will happen to you if you do this right. Now what's right and what's wrong? If you wanna learn about how to do it, then we're gonna wrap this thing up, but I have something that will help you learn the details. If you click on the link that's listed here in the description, it's gonna take you to something where it's gonna kinda of unfold a little bit of a game plan for you. So you can start putting your passive prospecting at work while you do this active prospecting and start reaching out to people the 30 minutes for 30 days. So you can put both in play, generate prospects while you're sleeping, and do something while you're hanging out in your jammies, both will work, and the more you have different options that are cooking for you in your business, the more things are just gonna explode. I mean, it's just gonna be crazy. So I, 
have just thoroughly enjoyed spending this time with you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm going to jump off, but if this added some value to you, there's a couple things. Drop a comment so I know what you're thinking and how you how the, how you enjoyed this or what you're going to do if you're going to take the 30 for 30 challenge. Also, if this is something that you have some team members and you're like, dude, I can get my team on board with this. We can all do 30 minutes for 30 days. Think about if your team got together and you're like, hey guys, we're gonna all do this. What would happen in your group? I mean, it could be crazy, right? So take it, use it, apply it. That's it for tonight, my friends. Take care, be blessed, and I will see you all next time. For more break training and to receive your free MP3 download on how to attract prospects using social media, the four essential elements to attracting prospects, visit summergeronimo.com.